Right, make sure you have your clip selected and go to the color page. First, we need to add in a second node, so right mouse button, add node and add a serial node. The reason for that is because we will always have an original one. Okay, so select this one and now the magic is going to happen. Make sure you click the qualifier and then click this symbol. And then just go to her skin, hold your mouse button and just drag over it. And then here you see what is being selected. Now, obviously this image has some extra colors in it, which means that this requires an extra mask, but in theory, if you just have a model in, let's say, a wood or a forest or whatever, you will just have the skin tone selected. Right, so to add a mask, let's click here in the window and let's click the pen tool. And I'm just going to create one around her face and neck. And then we need to keyframe this. So with these three selected, so just click on them. So all three of them are selected. You will now see that the mask, which is this, is being showcased here, which means we only have our skin now and not the oranges in the back. And now with just the arrow keys, you can go through the footage and then adjust the mask accordingly when needed for just as long as this clip lasts if you want to. Now, the reason why I'm doing this in this way is simply because a lot of you don't have DaVinci Resolve Studio where you would have been able to use the magic mask. So this is the manual way to do this. It takes a much longer time to achieve, but on the other hand, you know, it's free and it gets the job done. So just make sure you do this throughout the entire clip. And then once you're done, make sure you just click out of it so that you don't see the mask anymore, but the mask is still here. I'm going back to the first frame and now I can change her skin color any way I like. So I'm going to give it a bit more color. Here we go to make it look more natural or more healthy, actually, because she was kind of pale. Now, if you want to see a before and after, so if I play this clip, you'll see that this is now our skin tone. If you want to see a before and after, you can click this symbol, which is the disable one, the bypass color grades and fusion effects. And then that means if I play the clip and I select that, you will see the original color, which is this. And now this is with the color grade applied. All right, so I have a clip over here and I need to change the white balance because it's very off. It's way, way too yellow, okay? Now there's two ways how you can do this. You can just do the adjustment straight on your clip in the color tab, or you can grab an adjustment clip in the effects panel. So grab an adjustment clip and then make sure it lasts the entirety of your clip or as long as you want the color grade to last. Then with the adjustment clip selected, you can go to the color tab and then make sure you zoom in in your image, and in this case, your eye, so that the white of your eye is visible. And then go over here, this small symbol, right? This color picker. Then go to your eyeball, click it, and now you will see a huge difference. Now, let me show you before and after. So here's a before, and here's an after, and that's much, much better. All done within the first node of your coloring. Now, many nodes can follow after this, but I'll leave them out of the equation for this one. Right, and then let's achieve a black and white look, right? So I've got a clip here of a bar with some rain in the background, and I want to change this into black and white. First, let's create another node, add node, add serial. Here we go, with the second one selected. Let's go to the saturation and just change it to zero. And here we have our black and white image. Now, before you click off, I want to give you some creative control as well, because we see the highlights are being blown out. So we are going to drop the highlights. So it draws less of an attention and we are going to increase the contrast to make this stand out even better. So now if we play this clip and I show you before and after, so here's the before, the color clip, and then here's the after, here's the black and white clip. Very easy to do. So here's a trick you guys probably didn't know. You can actually steal a color grade from a clip and apply it on your own. So you need a reference clip. So in my case, I've taken this reference clip from the Joker. And then you need your own video clip or whatever you have where you want to apply that color grading to. Now, please keep in mind that it's very important that the basics of the image are the same. And what I mean by that is that this is shot at night and so is this. If this is a day shot, it won't work as good because it will really darken it down. However, this has everything we need. So we're going to the color tab. We're going to select the clip that we want to grade. We're going to the clip that we want to steal the grade from. Hit the right mouse button and then choose the shot match to this clip. And you immediately see that the color grading is being applied to your image. Now, obviously, you can tweak it around with these settings. You can make it lighter, darker, 
however you like it. And then if you go back, let's have a closer look at this. So here's our original clip that we used the color grading from. And then here's our own clip. So that's a very easy way to make sure all your clips match with the color grading. All right, now let's add a vignette around this girl, okay? Because all the colors are kind of the same in this image and I want her to stand out. Let's go back to the first clip. And now we need to do some magic. So first let's add in another note again, add serial note with the second note selected. Let's go over here, the masking tab. Now I'm going to click this one, the circle one, and I'm going to drag this one out. So the first one, not the second one, because the second one is for the feathering. And I'm going to drag this out as well. And now you see that we have a mask over our subject, but I want the subject to stay the same and the edges to be affected, right? So I'm going to click here, which is inverting the mask. And now you see that everything else will be affected except for our subject. And then all you have to do is just drop the offset and you see the edges become more dark. Now, if you want to know how that looks, let's play the clip again. And here's a before. So it's very dull and it's all kind of the same. And then here's the after one and the focus is on her much, much better.